Prime Minister Modi and his Spanish counterpart Pedro Sanchez jointly inaugurated the Tatu Aircraft Complex for manufacturing C-295 aircraft in India. Tatu Airbus joint venture facility has rolled out the first made in India fuselage of C-295 transport aircraft for the Indian Air Force. India will procure 15 additional C-295 aircraft from Airbus of which 12 would be manufactured in India by Tato Advanced Systems. Brazil is in talks to sign an intergovernmental agreement for the co-production and co-development of Akash NGR defense system. UP Police is looking to procure 405 units of 7.62 by 39 mm rifles, and the contenders include AK-203, SSS Defense P-72, Arsenal ARM 5F4, and the indigenous Star Rifle. Russian Foreign Minister has said, that the S-400 purchase agreement with Turkey includes an end-user certificate, prohibiting Turkey from selling or transferring the system to any third party without Russia's approval. Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders has successfully indigenized Hilo Landing Grid in collaboration with Sita Technologies Chennai. According to latest information, the DRDO is actively developing Rudram 4 hypersonic air-launched ballistic missile, that will be virtually impossible to intercept. The Rudram 4 will have a range of 1,500 km, and will incorporate precision guidance technology and artificial intelligence-driven pathfinding, and will be optimized for extended range and high-impact delivery on heavily fortified targets. The Rudram 4 hypersonic air-launched ballistic missile will allow for greater tactical versatility, as they can be loaded quickly onto Su-30 fighter jets for rapid deployment. The upcoming 26 Rafale Marine fighter jets of the Indian Navy will come equipped with two state-of-the-art anti-ship missile systems, that includes the 300 km medium-range anti-ship missile and the Brahmos NG, that will offer long-range attack capabilities, that will allow the Rafale Marine to stay well beyond enemy reach. Even the most sophisticated ship defenses would struggle to counter these missiles, making them highly effective against heavily armed vessels. The work on the second generation 190 megawatt nuclear reactor has been ongoing for eight years, and it is now ready for deployment. It will have two variants, the first will be a SSN variant, designed to handle the dynamic power demands required for Project 77 nuclear attack submarines, while the second variant will be for upcoming S5 class next generation SSPN, that will allow them to operate in stealth mode for long periods without the need for rapid changes in power output. The RDO's Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment and IIT Madras are jointly developing a lab prototype for a smart antenna-based sensor, that will be used in next-generation active protection systems for the FRCV program. The smart antenna-based sensor is designed to integrate various modules, that will contribute to an effective active protection system. Today's Top 3 Comments